Hi everyone. So today for yoga we're going to do more of a yin based class, so a little bit slower. And we're going to get quite deep into our hips because we spent a lot of time sitting, a lot of time indoors, less movement. So sometimes we need that. Today I'm going to use a bolster as a prop. So that's this. It's a like a cushion so if you have something that's equivalent use that okay you can even use a rolled up blanket for some cases and let's get started bring yourselves onto your back start to arrive on your mat and have your bolster on your left side there won't be a shavasana at the end of class but feel free to do one. I recommend doing one for five to 10 minutes. Just take some time and bring yourself into a meditation. Palms face the ceiling, tuck your shoulders under, allow your legs to just be. And start to bring your awareness to your breath. Inhale through your nose, exhale through your nose. How are your bones setting today? How is your breath feeling? Trying to keep your eyes closed for the majority of class as much as possible. As you inhale, bring your right knee in towards your chest, interlace your hands on the shin just under the knee and as you inhale release that knee a little bit and exhale guide it towards your chest just gentle movements inhale release exhale pull it in this care, this time. Bring the left foot onto the mat and 
place your right ankle onto your left thigh. Bring your arms down and around and come in to thread the needle, interlacing your hands behind that left thigh. pigeon later on in this class. If pigeon is not suitable for your body, come in to thread the needle.
bring yourself out of that twist, sliding your right foot along the mat, and then place your left ankle onto the right thigh, setting up for your thread the needle, interlace your hands behind that right leg, closing your eyes and finding some comfort.
taking another three breaths. Allowing them to be full and deep. And then one foot at a time, bring them in so they're flat on the mat. Engage your low belly, take an inhale. And as you exhale, just lift the hips so you can shift that bolster out from under you and then lower down one vertebra at a time. Allow your back to settle. Giving it a moment. Bring your right arm beside your head and roll over to your right side. Your bolster is nearby, but it's also horizontal. Using your left hand, press yourself up to a four point position. Hands under your shoulders, tuck your toes under and press yourself up and back to a down dog. Feet hip width apart, maybe you're gonna pedal your feet out a little bit. Maybe you're just going to settle in your down dog, pressing your chest towards your thighs, guiding your heels towards your mat. Grab your bolster and slide it so it's the width of your mat. We're setting up for pigeon, but it's assisted. So decide if this is right for you or if you want to go into thread the needle. Lifting your right leg up and then bring knee to nose and then shift your shin so it's parallel to the front of the mat. Settling yourself down, untucking your left toe, you're straddling your bolster and you should be able to Sit levelly, so sit evenly. The bolster is there to assist you so that you can find the most perfect pigeon. Now, you can stay here, staying on your palms. Look back at your left leg, make sure it's level and straight. Now, if you'd like, bring yourself down to your forearms. Maybe if it feels good. You're going to come down all the way onto your forearms or all the way onto your mat. You're going to be here for three minutes. So breathe into this pose. Find comfort.
five more deep breaths. up onto your palms, shift your weight into that right hip, and then swing the left leg around, letting everything settle. You've just done a lot of work with that hip. Straightening out that right leg, maybe shaking it out a little bit, or just letting it be. set up on your left side but coming into it a little bit differently than you did on your right cross your left leg underneath your right leg shift yourself so that your bum is near the edge of your bolster and then using your hands bring them in front of you as you shift that right leg behind you come onto your toe look back at that right leg come up and then straighten it out. Once it's straight and you feel settled, then untuck your toes and allow yourself to completely straddle that bolster. You might find what helps is if you tuck that right toe under and come up, shift, and then right down. Finding your comfort in your left hip. When you're ready, come down onto your forearms. And then if you'd like to go all the way down onto your forehead. One side always feels significantly tighter than the other. That might mean that that other side, that tight side, a little bit of extra care because maybe we use it a little bit more we lean on it a little bit more and just like those people in our lives that we depend on those people that do a lot for us in our lives we need to give them a little bit of extra care a little bit of extra love
and then gently press yourself up onto your forearms, onto your palms. Shifting your weight into that left hip, and start to swing that right leg forward. Shift yourself a little bit further onto your bolster or your pillow. Just let everything settle in. Straighten out that left leg. Maybe you're going to give it a little bit of shake. Maybe you're just going to let it sit. And then just shift yourself off of your bolster. Place it to the side. And come to a comfortable cross-legged position. Notice how your hips feel in this position now. Bring your hands to heart center. Press your thumbs in towards your chest. Sit up tall. Close your eyes. And take three breaths here for you. Keeping your eyes closed. Thank yourself for taking this time for your mind, for your body, for your soul. Namaste. Have a beautiful rest of your day. And I hope you found a little bit of peace today.